What I go on YouTube? Welcome to the Jamaican Recipe Queen where we cook with love and passion. So today YouTube families, I'll be making some Chinese seafood rice. So here I have all of my ingredients that I will be using. Let's just go over. So here I have some green bell peppers and I'm just using half of a medium bell pepper. Here I have half of a small size cabbage and I just cut these like in these sizes. You don't want to cut them too small. Over here I have three small onion and again, I just cut them in two. I have some green onion, two garlic stems, one cup of mixed vegetable. You can use three to four eggs one celery stick. Over here I have my garlic and I just saute my garlic in some butter. I had these left over so I'm using it but you can use fresh chopped garlic and just saute it in some butter. And here I have my seafood mix. So it's a mixture of different kinds of seafood like shrimp, clams, squids and so on. And here I have my crayfish, and these are also pre-cooked. You can use fresh crayfish if you can get them in your stores. I have some chili flakes, some garlic pepper powder, my Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and my olive oil. And last but not least, we have our white rice, and this is jasmine rice. I'm using three cups. You can use any rice of your choice. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do, we wanna put on our rice to cook. So we're just gonna wash our rice and we're gonna put it in our rice cooker. Okay, so I've washed my rice and I've placed it in my rice cooker. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add our water. Okay, so I ended up adding two and a half cups of water because it's jasmine rice so you have to be careful when you're cooking jasmine rice and now i'm just going in with a tip of olive oil just about one tablespoon and then i'm just gonna cook this for 45 minutes in my rice cooker okay so here i have the wok on the stove and i'm just going to allow this to heat up and then we're just gonna add some margarine or butter to the pot so this is when you want to add your chopped garlic okay so you add your butter about a tablespoon or two and then you add your chopped garlic and you saute that for two minutes since i already had some prepared i'm just going to use this Okay, it's looking lovely. So now I'm going to add a teaspoon of my garlic pepper powder and a teaspoon of my chili flakes. So I'm just gonna turn this up. To this, I'm going to add about half tablespoon of margarine. And I'm just going to cover these down and allow our seafood mix to cook before we add our vegetables. Okay, so now everything is nicely cooked in here. So I'm going to go ahead now and we're going to add our vegetables. So first I'm going to add the mixed vegetables and our cabbage. Okay, so here I added the cabbage and the mixed vegetables. Okay, so we're going to add our Worcestershire sauce and our soy sauce. 
and I added two tablespoons of the Worcestershire sauce and four tablespoons of our soy sauce. And now we're going to add our remaining vegetables. So we're going in with our garlic stem, our celery stick, onion, and our green bell pepper. You can use red or orange or you can mix them as well. So we're just gonna toss this around for two to three more minutes. Okay, so the only thing we have left to add from our vegetables are the green onions. So we're gonna add the green onions last, okay? So we're just gonna toss this around for two more minutes or three more minutes. Okay. Looking lovely. And over here, I've went ahead and I've prepared our scrambled eggs. I did this on the side because it's a seafood fried rice and I don't want to mix the egg if you do not eat egg. So this is how I show you how to prepare it without the egg. But I'm going to go ahead and combine the egg for my sake, okay? But you can prepare your seafood rice without the egg, totally. So now we're going to go ahead and add our pre-cooked crayfish. If your crayfish weren't pre-cooked, you would have added them when you were adding your seafood mix, okay? So I'm just going to leave this for about two more minutes. Okay, my wonderful people, so now we're going to add our rice, okay? So we're just going to spin this up, combine everything together. Okay, so everything is nice and combined. It is done. It is ready. It is looking absolutely amazing. It smells so good. So I'm going to add my eggs. Remember the eggs are optional. And I'm just going to add our green onions just on top for garnish. Here is the final result. If you're loving this recipe, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe. If you're new here, please hit that subscription button. Turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Until next time, God bless you.